Our cloud good system allows you to manage various features of your games, such as items, players, in-game store, and in-game monetization through Android, iOS, Facebook, Steam, and many others. Our Cloud Goods SDK fully supports Unity, and this video will show you how easy it is to set up. To start, you'll need to download the Cloud Goods SDK and import it into your project. The link to the SDK is in the video description. Next, you'll need to link your Unity project with your Cloud Goods account. We'll do this by getting our app ID and app secret from the developer portal and putting them into the Cloud Goods settings in Unity. If you're not signed up with us, you can use the public app ID and app secret that will be in the video description or on the developer portal support page in the Getting Started section. Let's load up the SDK's login example scene now. You can find all the SDK's example scenes in the Cloud Goods Examples Scenes folder. In the login example scene, you can see how players are logging in or registering for your games. Registering will require an email, password, and username. Once a player has registered, they'll receive an email asking them to activate their account. If you're signed up with Cloud Goods, the user email is the same as the email you used during sign up, and a password should have been sent to you via email. For those of you that haven't created a player account, you can create one using this login example scene. When you're finished registering an account and activated it, you can use that information to log in. Once logged in, this shows you what kind of player information you have access to with the Cloud Goods SDK. For those that haven't made an account on developers.socialplay.com, you can use the player you've registered in the login example scene. To view the other example scenes, you'll need to log in. This is the item container example scene. This scene lets you test drive the item generator and see how items are stored in the player's item containers. The CloudGoods SDK item containers are fully customizable for making your own type of container. The containers are a template that can be used and adjusted. We just provided a basic drag and drop, add and removing of items, and item persistency as basic features of the item container. Before you can generate any items, I'll show you how items are created. In the items view on the developer portal, you can create items for your game. To start, you'll need to create a class for your items. All items need to belong to a class, so to add items, you'll need to create a class first. Once you've created a class, you can create an item. You can edit its name, its properties, as well as its image. Once you're finished, just hit the Save button and it's done. In this scene, you can spawn items you've created on the developer portal into your game. By clicking the Generate Items button, random items you've created will be selected from the developer portal and instantiate them as game objects that your players can pick up. Once you click on the dropped item, it will appear in a container. For this scene, any items that were generated can be picked up and placed into a container or you can also drop items from one container to another. This is the store and developer portal. Here you can sell items in your world for players to buy with either standard currency or premium currency. These currencies are set in the world view of developer portal to use in your games. The standard currency for example is what players will earn as items in game, and premium currency is earned by spending real world money. We've provided a template that allows you to display your store items that you've set up on your developer portal, as well as display the player's currency. It also has search functionality and paging to sort through the store's items. A player can purchase an item by clicking on its item button. Once clicked, you can see detailed info of the item. Players can also change the quantity you want to purchase and which currency is valid for purchase. Next is item bundles. Item bundles are very similar to the store items except they contain a group of items in varying quantities. When clicking on an item bundle scene, it will be very similar to the item store scene. When clicking on a bundled item, that's where you'll see the difference. The bundle purchase window will display multiple items and the quantity of those items in the bundle. Next I'll show you the player's inventory to see the items that were purchased. In the player's section of the developer portal, you can see a list of all your players that signed up for your games. When a player is selected, you can see their statistics for play history and purchase history. In the inventory, you can see the items that were purchased. The last scene is the virtual currency store. That's where you can sell your premium currency to players for real world money. The template we provided displays a store that contains all the premium bundles you've created on Developer Portal. Behind the scenes, it also handles the purchasing of bundles depending on the platform you've built on. The Virtual Currency Store fully supports iOS, Android, Facebook, Congregate, and Steam for premium bundle purchasing. You can also test the system with a test purchase on the editor. The Cloud Goods SDK provides all the tools you need to get started on adding virtual goods and monetization to any Unity project.
No matter what genre of game you're making, adding the Cloud Goods SDK to your project is quick and easy. Literally any project can use the Cloud Goods SDK to make items, sell items, and even craft items with our systems.